So my partner and I just got back, well, not just back, we've been back for a few hours, but we just came from uh, the new Hunger Games movie, which is called The Hunger Games uh, Ballad of the Songbird and Snake, or just Songbird and Snake, uh, and as someone who didn't like two of the four movies that came out, because I've only seen two of the four of them, uh, and just didn't like them, uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. I legitimately really liked it and had a really good time with it. So, uh, to see if my opinion has changed or perspective has moved, I'm gonna go rewatch the original four and see if what uh, the ballad of Songbird and Snake, if what that set up and did, can mean anything in the in the next few movies because I believe Snow's the big bad guy of the entire series. So if they can somehow make the prequel mean something to the main thing, that's impressive, especially if it changes my mind. I don't think it will. I don't think my opinion's going to change on the first movie. Uh, but maybe on Mockingjay Part 1? I know, it's weird. I've only seen the first movie and Mockingjay Part 1. Um, I, I just didn't see two. My partner dragged me to see the third one, and I just didn't end up seeing the fourth one. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to go watch them now, and I will let you know my opinion after each one. Oh yeah, I should mention, like, it's about 9pm now, so I'm going to finish these movies about 6am, so I'm probably going to be very tired. So if my opinion is altered by that, I apologize, but I don't really care about this series, so I, I'm willing to give it another go, but not actual time and energy to focus on it, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to give it a go, i see you when I get back. So I just finished uh, the first one, and you know what? I've actually got a lot more to say, and a lot more positive things to say, and different things I want to say and, and think about. Gen I don't, look, I don't, I don't think it's a perfect movie. Not by far. Not at all. It's uh, still maybe a 6 out of 10. That best in general. It has some major flaws. But there's a few nuggets of like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's good. But now with the context of the prequel, I think one scene in particular with Snow... After Rue's death, where the game master has gone to him, he's like, oh, no, no. Snow's like, hey, you screwed this up. They're starting an uprising. You're an idiot. You're the one. You're the fault for the situation. I kind of warned you about this. In that scene specifically, he refers to the other districts and how they are, and somewhat of his own experiences, it's lightly hinted at, and that scene specifically major improvement because of the prequel because we know his history um uh i'm i'm somewhat excited for the second one because i believe the second one is a is a you know it's up there it's like one of the the top ones i guess in this full part series so i'm excited uh i'll see you then i need some tea i'm a bit tired already oh and the worst scene in the movie is still the rue scene i understand that it's sad and we should care and the importance of it for the revolution but it's so long and we spent so little time with the character within the film itself didn't care i i don't care I, it's like i we, i've watched 12 other kids die this one specifically it's no different to me i care about everyone equally not because i just met them um anyway i'll see you after the second one so I just finished uh, uh, Catching Fire, the like game's Catching Fire. Uh, generally, overall, an improvement from the first movie. Big improvement. Uh, definitely wasn't a fan of the ending of The Hunger Games itself. I, I felt weird and kind of rushed and kind of clunky. Uh, the relationship between uh, Katniss and Peter gives me the big ick uh there is some real deep psychological damage in that relationship and that's just it grosses me out um um i was gonna look into it that's one of the things i i i met a uh, referenced in the first movie and i was like yeah some th good things to dig into 
don't want to dig into them now. That's big ick. Feels uncomfortable. Uh, but that was okay. I had a much better time with that. Uh, the best scene, the best of it probably is 7 out of 10. Legitimately, I kind of enjoyed some of it. Uh, but a lot of it was kind of more of the same. Uh, the Hunger Games themselves, while it was fun to be a bit more environmental and a bit more like, ooh, what's going to happen next? By making it more environmental, it, it felt like it was taking away from the actual participants. I know a lot of them were in on the whole revolution deal. Uh, uh, Plutarch said like at least half of them were in on it. But that still takes away some of the interesting, like, kill or not to kill kind of mentality that the first movie at least tried to have. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's about 2am. I'm going to have to watch the next one. Uh, I'll see you then. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, I, I did drink some tea out of my Sylvester McCoy mug. Uh, and that was lovely. But because I know Mockingjay Part 1... It's so incredibly boring. It's the one I saw was the first one I saw in the cinemas themselves. The only one I saw in the cinemas, uh, other than the prequel. I should make another tea, so I'm a bit more awake because I know I'm going to be bored out of my mind watching that, and it's already quite late. So I finished uh, Mocking Jay, Part One. Uh. That was a really hard watch. It was really, it was really hard. Um, I feel like I appreciated, appreciated, appreciated it a bit more this time around. Not that that's saying much. I had very, uh, very low opinion of the movie when I saw it in the cinema when it came out and whenever it came out, I don't remember. Um, it, the first half was fine. You know, the first half was kind of watchable. I feel like you could you could really enjoy this movie if you cared about the universe. I don't specifically care about this universe, so it's not really for me. But I could see someone who really loves this universe, really loves these books and these films, to really enjoy this movie. And then you kind of get to the second half, and it slows down. It This movie is like half an hour shorter than the other two, the other two previous ones. But by the end, it feels like it's a half an hour long. It feels like a three hour movie by the time you're done. I feel exhausted. The last ten minutes have made me feel exhausted. Um, I, I was so positive going into this halfway through. And now I'm just like, wow. I feel how I felt when I left the cinema originally. Just exhausted, tired, and feel like nothing happened. Alright, on to part four. Part two. Movie four. So I just finished part two. Very exhausted. Uh, the sun is up. It's about 6am. Almost 6.30. Um, that was fine, I guess. Second best one. Other than the prequel. So yeah, it's probably prequel. Um, Catching Fire. Walking Jay part two. Hunger Games part one would be my order, I think. Uh, this one was okay. Had some good moments. The problem is, I also felt like this was dragged out by a billion miles as well. Could have been so much shorter, I felt. Um, uh, the, the, the relationship between Peter and the main character, I'm blanking really hard because I'm very tired. Katniss... A little bit better, a little less cringe, a little bit cre less creepy, but eh. I'm going to make uh, more TikToks in the future expanding my opinions, but for now, I'm going to get some rest.